This lesson is going to help you now relate everything that we've talked about with linear equations to a real life scenario. So we're going to start with a word problem here. It says the library sold tickets for a puppet show. Advanced tickets were $4 and tickets bought at the event were $5.50. The total ticket sales were $440. We're going to let X represent the number of tickets that were sold in advance and Y represent the number of tickets that were sold at the door. And our task here in number one is to come up with an equation that is going to represent this scenario. So let's just start by putting down an equal sign because we know that an equation has to have an equal sign. And then we're going to think about what's given here. We know that our total is 440. And that word total kind of indicates something here. A lot of times that indicates an equal. So on one side of the equal sign, we're going to put 440. Now we made that money by selling tickets. We sold advanced tickets for $4. We don't know how many we sold, but we're going to call advanced tickets X. So I'm going to take and I'm going to say 4X is going to give me the amount of money that we're bringing in from the advanced ticket sales. And then the 550 is what we're charging for tickets at the door. And I don't know how many we sold at the door, but I do know that Y is going to be the number sold at the door. So I'm going to add to that 4X 550Y. So here's my equation. The next task is to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And you may recall from the last video, this is a pretty simple process. We just have to plug in our zero. If we're going to find the x-intercept, we plug in our zero for y. That essentially drops the y term out, so we're left with the equation 4x equals 440. Divide both sides by 4, and x is 1 time. Now next to this, you can write 1, 10, 0, because remember the x-intercept is always a point. Now we're going to find the y-intercept. That means we plug a 0 in for x. So 4 times 0 plus 550y equals 440. Again, that's just going to drop out your x term. So you've got 550y equals 440. To solve for y, we're going to divide both sides by 550. And when you do that, you'll find out that y is 80. So our y-intercept is 0, 80. Now what we want to do next is talk about what does this mean. So let's just write down again what our intercepts were. So the x-intercept was 1, 10, 0. And the y-intercept was 0, 80. And remember that x represented the number of tickets that were sold in advance. So the x-intercepts mean we sold 110 tickets in advance and zero at the door. So in other words, all of our tickets were sold ahead of time. So if you were to you know, show up at the door the day of the puppet show, you wouldn't get a ticket. The show would have been sold out. The y-intercept means we sold zero tickets at the door and or zero tickets in advance, sorry, and 80 tickets at the door. That means nobody planned ahead. Maybe they were busy, they didn't know if they wanted to go to the puppet show, and then all of a sudden that day, everyone showed up the door to buy their, buy their tickets. So all 80 tickets were sold at the door. Now, the reality is probably neither of these situations happened. It's probably somewhere in between. So when we actually graph our line, that's going to show us all possible pairs that would represent tickets sold in advance and tickets sold at the door. So what we're going to do next is just graph this equation. And we're going to have to come up with a scale. Now I think by looking at this, um, we're not going to do like an x and a y axis because ticket sales, both numbers have to be positive. So we're just going to make this the first quadrant. And I think it'll work out if we go by 20s. And since x was the advanced ticket sales, we're going to label that axis right away. And on the y axis, we're going to label um, tickets at the door. So we're going to go up by either 10s or 20s. Um, you kind of have to count ahead and look at what we're going to do. And um, I think we'll maybe go by 10s here. We should have enough. So we don't have to label every single one. You can start labeling every other one. As long as you kind of get your scale in there, we should be good. So now we want to plot our x-intercept at 1, 10, 0. And we want to plot our y-intercept as 0, 80. So you go ahead and you count over. And then you count up. You graph your line. 
And again, you should be using your straight edge. But then what this represents, this line gives us all possibilities. So you can find another point on the line, and that would show you like, hey, when we bought 50 tickets ahead of time, that meant that 50 tickets were sold at the door. So you can kind of look at the breakdown then according to your line.